Welcome to Monster FPV. Today we are doing another swap, but what we are doing, we're upgrading the Protec 6 26S. So um, we've got 4S batteries and the 6S batteries. You can see the difference. Uh, 6 cells, 4 cells, 14.8 volts, 22.2 volts. Um, 6S gives you more punch out, more flight time. And so the main thing is uh, changing over is motors. So the motors that we've got on this at the moment, we have 2205, 3200 kV. Okay. And we are upgrading it to, let's unbox this sucker. We are upgrading it to, 2205s, 2300 kV motors. These things apparently are awesome and very, very smooth. So we're looking good here. And um, yeah, if you um, if you follow my other channel, Melbourne Images, check out um, locations and other things. But um, we also have put this together separately and here's the video up there. So uh, kick it off and uh, see if we can change this beast from 4S to 6S. Let's go. Okay, so the main thing is take off the all six screws from top of the drone. Um, they are M3 screws and expose everything inside. Remove the air unit and unplug everything from the air unit itself. Uh, it's a good idea to remove the props straight away as well. Uh, what I've done here is obviously you can see how dirty that basically gets here. Yeah? So I've sticky taped it, uh, the USB-C port, and um, that basically protected protect it from um, any grass or anything like that as well. So popping in. Um, we can probably remove the whole camera. Open it out. You can see that um, it is quite dirty, especially when you're flying around sort of grass, landing, taking off. Just for your information, I guess, we've got um, the air unit obviously sits on top. There is a fair bit of space in there for double stack as well. But the problem is if you're going to put a double stack in, you have to put in Cadex Vista. So it's much smaller and um, yeah. Uh, if obviously with with this board here is the F7 um, beast and it's a uh, all-in-one so like I mentioned in the last video you got ESCs in the flight controller all-in-one so we need to obviously remove that and change the motors in it so let's pop the whole thing off so that's three screws that should just Pop off. I've um, what I've also done over the T Model T um, antenna. What I've done was uh, sticky taped it to the actual body frame so it doesn't flop around when I'm flying. So let's uh, with this one here, we can just pop that off. I'll pop this um, LED. Uh, pop off with the LED light less stuff we have it's sort of easier to work on rather than all these bits and pieces flopping around and stuff so keep in mind um, what I've tried to do here is trying to keep all the wiring off the actual flight controller so it doesn't sort of bang on it when I'm flying and um, it doesn't interrupt obviously the actual flight um, characteristics so less vibrations flight controller is a little bit more responsive so you just try to fit the cables underneath and obviously out of the way nice and clean as well right, so now what we're going to do is remove um, the old motors so um, best way to desolder everything obviously try to be careful not to have any solder splatter and or touch any electronics in the while you're doing it so all right 
all the motors have been desoldered. Um, and we are ready to rock and remove them then. So to remove them is obviously just screws underneath. Motor one is done. put four new motors it's definitely a good idea to be able to fit all the cables in from the wire protectors all right so we mounted all four new motors so we are uh, we've got the new 2300 kV uh, Xing motors on this thing um, it looks like a bit of a dog's breakfast at the moment I must admit but don't worry it's all under control so next we're going to cut those cables a little bit to make sure that they fit to this now don't cut them too short and don't cut them too long so about a centimeter about a centimeter away from uh, the actual pads itself yeah so that's one. We've got all the excess silicon cables. So the next part is to tin all the cables, all the ends, and so they catch on to all the pads and there is a firm contact on all of them. If you don't do that, you are running off risk of uh, them popping out. And the final step on all the hard bits is putting them back on to the right pads and making sure that they all stick and they are nicely firmly soldered down. Alright, so what we've got, we've got soldered everything back on nice and so if you look at the soldering I'll just zoom in a little bit on this. If you see that little nice shiny thing, that's the correct way of doing it. See, these ones are pretty good. One, two, three. Once all the soldering is done, you can start putting the drone back together and ensuring all the parts are going in back into the same locations. So once everything is in, make sure you plug everything in. All your antennas need to be plugged in as well. Don't turn anything on without any antennas and make sure there's no props on as well and uh, once everything is ready to go you can make sure that plug in everything to beta flight in beta flight you click on understand the risks that the motors are spinning uh, in the motors tab and you can test the correct way of spinning the motors so in this case here we are spinning the motors outwards so motor two and four are spinning outwards and motor 2 and 1 and 3 are spinning inwards. Follow the diagram to be able to make sure that you are spinning the correct way. If however your motor is not spinning the correct way, there is one way of uh, changing the motor direction by connecting it to BL Heli and then once you connect it into BL Heli make sure you disconnect beta flight and read the actual setup. Once you read the setup in motors uh, ESC 1, 2 and 3 and 4 you can reverse the direction of the motors if they're not spinning the correct way. Make sure you write the setup once finished. Once ready and set up and it's complete then you can pop your props back on the correct way and ready for some testing. That's it. Oh. Yes. We are going to do a nice build with those? After a bit of testing, uh, I've noticed that uh, with a 6S 1300 milliamp battery, I'm getting over 5 minutes of flight time with GoPro 9 and that gives me quite a good result from, uh, from changing the motors around. Um, like I mentioned, 6S batteries give you a little bit more power, a little bit more 
I punch in the overall it's pretty good uh, to keep uh, success batteries uh, for all the other quads as well so thanks for watching guys if you can give me a subscribe and give me a like if uh, if you like this video uh, and um, last one is just a couple of uh, little in and outs from a um, from the balcony all right enjoy thank you